Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking some more about cheer pools. First, it looks like the official support for cheer pools is going to be delayed again. Originally it was predicted to begin testing on the 17th of May, that was later pushed back to the end of May, and now according to a post in the GitHub FAQ, support for portable plots is going to be released for testing sometime in June with no specific date given. Bear in mind that this is just for it to be released on testnet for developers, not on mainnet for farmers to use and actually begin plotting. The problem that she has is the longer that official pool support takes to appear, the more people are going to be incentivized to join HPool. And also at the rate the network is growing, the potential rewards when official pools do eventually appear are getting smaller by the day. Speaking of HPool, they've just revealed that over 170 users have been banned from their pool after it was discovered that they were double farming. That is, farming their plots on the official GUI app and the HPool farming app at the same time. Other people, meanwhile, have apparently been artificially inflating their online capacity by creating fake plots to take a larger share of the blocks won by HPool, essentially reducing the share of others. According to a post on the HPool website, over 500 petabytes of fake plots were discovered, including one user who had over 180 petabytes of fake plots on one single account. That would have been bringing in over 100 cheer every day for that user that they should never have received. Cheer that instead should have been divided among the other pool users with valid plots. A look at the graph of HPool's total online power shows a sharp drop on the 29th of May from 6.5 exabytes to 5.8 exabytes. That's a drop of almost 700 petabytes in a single day. It's likely that that drop is due to the fake plots and dual miners being removed. Later in the same post, HPool confirms that automated auditing of accounts is expected to resume after the 31st of May, so hopefully those users still waiting will begin to see earnings appear from their plots. I think it's obvious to anyone by now that Cheer should never have been released without official pool support already in place. There are an awful lot of users sitting on zero Cheer after weeks of farming, and the chance of them ever winning a block just gets lower and lower as time goes by. At the current rate of growth, the Cheer network will be larger than all of the hard drives in every data center on the planet by the 3rd of September, just over three months from now. So it has to start slowing down and stabilize eventually. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.